Hello everybody and welcome back to today's video. Today we are going to be talking about how you can go ahead and update your callouts for the new API version on 5PD. Um, obviously in our previous callout tutorial videos we didn't use any data or anything like that so we're not going to have that many changes we're going to have to make. The main change we're going to have to make is we're no longer getting the 5PD callout API by a just the normal download for the .net.dll file. We're actually going to get it through NuGet um, which is a system which allows us to pull everything including the 5m files we need um so very cool i'm glad they put it on there it's really helpful so let's just get straight into this i apologize if i sound really tired it's currently halloween and it, i didn't get a good night's sleep last night so it's been a long day anyway uh, let's just get into it. It's only 9 a.m., but let's just get into it. Um, so the first thing we actually have to do is go back to our dependencies and assemblies folder here, and you can see we have 5PD and Citizen FX Core. What we're going to do is we're just going to click delete on both of these, and you can see it's just going to cause a lot of errors. Just ignore those for now. So we've deleted both of those. We're good now for that. We're going to go down to the bottom of the screen here where it's NuGet here, and we're going to go ahead and click this. And what we're going to do is we're just going to search in the search bar for 5PD. And then the second one on the list is 5PD.net. You're just going to click this. And then over here where it says version 1.1.1, go ahead and click this plus button. It will say, hey, where do you want to add this? Just click install. Um, and then a minute later, once it goes ahead and install, you can see all the errors go away. Yay. Um, but you can see, obviously, even though all the errors went away with this, we still have these errors here because some of the things have changed when it comes to spawning random pets um, and the utility classes, which um, used to be in a different location. So uh, I highly recommend you check out the documentation for the API if you are updating API stuff um, because it will go over everything that you need and everything that happens when you set up your callouts and everything. Um, so go read the documentation. It's very important to read. Um, but otherwise, what we're going to do is we're just going to put utility or it's actually random utilities um, and then it's dot get random ped. So we'll just go ahead and import this new uh, file and copy and paste it one more below there. And you can see now it's not erroring. Um, that's all you have to do for at least our callout stuff. If you are using player data or getting ped data, you do have to change a few more methods. We weren't using them in this uh, part of the plugin or in this part of the callouts. So obviously that is not uh, what we have to do here, but this is what you do. And then obviously to build, you just go ahead and click the build um, and it's going to your release folder. So then you go into show where it is in Explorer. Um, and then you go in here, bin release and there is your tutorial uh, .net .dll that you give to everyone for your callouts. So you have successfully updated your callouts for the new API, at least for what we did in here. Um, obviously, if you're using ped data and stuff, go read the documentation on how to update those to the new call areas. Uh, thank you so much for watching and I will see you tomorrow.